Hello, Warren. Oh, whoa! I'm looking very white this morning. Hold up. Let me see if I can fix that. Okay, that's much better. That's well. No, maybe marry the difference there. Uh, nope. That's still too white. I need the whitest man you have. No, that's too white. All right, let's just. That's that's good. Oh my god. <clears throat> I practice the law of attraction and repulsion. And then I spend 45 minutes adjusting my camera so they can capture my soulless visage. Comb your hair, my dude. I'm I'm kind of rocking the bedhead. I'm going to start like wearing it like this, you know? It's just kind of all over the place. It gives you that sultry, ruffled experience that makes you think, ooh, did he just get out of the claws of some she-beast? <laughs> I'll never tell. <clears throat> no, the answer is no. Mm. All right. So... Mm. 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 That's a biscotti. What a biscotti. All right. I'm not going to do this lore thing because it's all like humble bragging. It's all like my lore. When I was in 11th grade, I got a 95 on an honors biology test. Uh, But if I do do it, I'm trying to think of something good, like just lies. I imagine that the, like that's the funny way to do it. All right, before we do anything else, we need to fill out Disencoder's questionnaire. So as you can see, Disencoder has a questionnaire. By the way, who's this little fucker in Disencoder's profile? We have the twins, but who's this third one? <clears throat> Rex? Oh, the fur hire? I didn't know he liked fur hires that much. <clears throat> what is, in your opinion, the strongest slash most powerful archetype ever created in Yu-Gi-Oh? Not hard. Tier Lament. Name an accessory all Yu-Gi-Oh players should have use. Condom. No, that's not it. What is an accessory all Yu-Gi-Oh players should have? A deck box, I guess? <sighs> <clears throat> Sleeves is a good answer. <coughs> what is the most hated Yu-Gi-Oh card of all time? Good question. Shifter's up there for sure. Can we beat Shifter? Maxi? Mystic Mine? Yeah, probably Mystic Mine. What is your biggest pet peeve in Yu-Gi-Oh? Something you find especially annoying. Hmm. Role playing. Name something a Yu-Gi-Oh player might find embarrassing if their parents found out. They play Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, the money's the answer, though. <clears throat> Name an excuse a Yu-Gi-Oh player might give for why they lost a duel. Your deck is bullshit. Name something a Yu-Gi-Oh player might do that would indicate they're not very good at the game. Hmm. 
they watch MBT. I was going to say my actual answer is when they say, oh, hey, I love your videos. Uh, John's. I'm just going to say John's. Apart from their uh, cards and accessories, name something a Yu-Gi-Oh player should always have in their backpack. I don't know. A water? Name something a Yu-Gi-Oh player does the night before a big tournament. Masturbate. <coughs> sleep? I don't know. Sleep? Test is the answer, probably. Name a reason that a Yu-Gi-Oh player might call a judge in the middle of a game. Their opponent is cheating! I don't know. That's a weird question. Name a card that is currently on the Forbidden Limited list but shouldn't be. Tier Lament, Kit Kalos. No, what is his actual answer? <clears throat> Laval Chain. The Forceful Sentry. <clears throat> Vanity's Emptiness. Time Seal is pretty much objectively the correct answer, but it's limited. I'm going to say Delinquent Duo. I think that's the most ridiculous one that I think. Name a card you would expect a beginner duelist would think is broken and would put into their deck. Raigeki. All right, now let's do another response. Fuck you, coder. Suck my dick. You're gay. All right, good. <clears throat> Ugh. All right, let's see what's happening on YouTube.com this morning. Almost nothing, actually. I summon my almighty <clears throat> wise white what, what? What's happening? Oh my god, everybody's clowning on me at the same time. Jesus Christ! Wait, did Rada try and play all three at once? Hello, everybody. That's just a stream. This is some funky shit. Great vibes in Joey's game. This is funny. Oh my god. The, I didn't know that Joey the Passion OST was so sexy. Let me get the title screen. Is it this one? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, this is exactly what I like hearing. What are those promos? What are you talking about? You got the Red Eyes Black Dragon, you got Sebex Blessing, and you got that fucking sword. Oh! Let's try, let's try Kaiba, what's the Kaiba one? The Revenge. What is this fucking MIDI of the hacking theme? Okay, hold up. This would go this would go fucking tight on Gage's stream. Oh. Okay.
let's see what what's what's Yugi's. That's a main menu. No, we want we want card. Card list. Here we go. Oh. Snorge. Yo, did you know that ancient Egypt? Let me actually hold up. Clue Finders 4th Grade OST. It's the same fucking song. <laughs> exactly. Every, like, late 90s piece of children's software that involved Egypt had the same background theme. Oh, they're moving. All right, let's try, let's try Cairo Track 2. This is the same song. Damn, that guy is fucking yoked. Look at him. The Aswan Dam was one of the most ambitious building projects in recent history. Completed in 1971, it created the largest man-made lake in history, Lake Nasser, named after Abdul Nasser, the Egyptian president at the time. The Aswan Dam was built to provide hydroelectric power from the Nile River. It provides a steady supply of fresh water for the agriculture of the region. Noted. <laughs> oh man, by the way, I just, I, I'm having ADHD brain. Uh, you know this song? Da -da 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 -da. He will tear your city down, oh lay, oh lie, oh lord. This song, I looked this up because it was in that TikTok, and I was like, oh, this sounds like a fun song to listen to. The only good part of this song is in the TikTok. It's like a two-minute song. We got to stop writing songs for TikTok. It's ruining songs. Songs now are two minutes, and they're just an excuse for an 11-second bit that you can put in a TikTok. I don't like it. The Portland Lynn Coffee Shop on Benadryl TikTok. Exact same one. Yes, you... Yes. <clears throat> oh, it's the burger dude. I love that guy. Uh, I got him in my recommended because I was watching a different guy. Oh, yeah. I can use this time to talk about my own tweets. Usually I talk about other people's tweets, but let's talk about my own. So let's uh, let's scroll down a little bit. <coughs> so I didn't... um. I didn't talk much about the uh, the event that happened in Europe, but uh, congratulations to everyone who did well. Uh, European events are just very large locals. I'm sorry to any Europeans in the audience, but like, <laughs> what happens at every European event, I said this on last stream, but 2,500 people just decide independently, I'm going to like the German one or the English one. And then they go, and it's like a huge event, and it's full of people who have not updated their deck since 2017. And so, like, the top 32 is always, like, a bunch of FTK decks that won the die roll a whole shitload of times because of the law of large numbers. Um, and then, like, ABC, right? And it's like, okay, I, I understand that those decks are fine, but I'm not drawing too many conclusions from it, to be honest. Let me pull up a Sebto tweet. <clears throat> uh, let's see. We got Rika in finals. Rika won the entire event. I don't know what they are. What's in the water over there that they can't figure out how to play? You know, a hand trap. But hey, whatever. Uh, Vanquish Soul. And if you've seen this Vanquish Soul list, I mean, you know, shouts out to uh to this guy uh, Lucas. Um, incredible finish. I mean, better than I will ever achieve in my entire life. This deck is very bad. Like, this deck is not remotely good. Um, eh, it, it, uh, there's just nothing to say about it. It's just it's just VS. He's playing, like, Zeus in the extra deck to make uh, Zeus. It's rough. Um, 
Unchained at third. It's Lorenzo. It's a Lorenzo. I don't know if it's the Lorenzo. Despia at fourth. We got Sprite Pearly at sixth. Don't think that deck is even remotely playable right now, but, you know, it made it. Uh, flu, Tier, Flu, Lab, Monodium. You all are letting Monodium get top 16 at your events? Guys, come on. We talked about this. You can't be doing this. And then it starts making sense again. Unchained Chimera, Dragon Link, Tier Limit, Unchained, Unchained, Tier, 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 Dragon Link. VS, Unchained, Mikanko. Mikanko. All right. Um, Sprite, DL, Monadium again. Lab, Unchained, Tier Limit. Uh, and then, you know, you don't, don't look at 64, 64, uh, the, 64 doesn't prove anything. You know, these, these decks aren't real. You've got like Pearly. I've never heard of that deck. Uh, Gabriel Susie. Don't know who that is. Uh, Rescue Ace. I don't know what that is. Um, but yeah, no, it's weird. Uh, Germany is always like, this is all a very normal top 32, top 16. And then they were like, what are the decks that are going to make it out of top 16? Uh, the worst ones. It's going to be like VS, you know. This pearly sprite build that's like around is also pretty sexy, but I don't know if it's real. Um, <clears throat> you know, you had lithium almost clearing on Monarch. Huh. I haven't checked any of the other events. Uh, regional in Brazil, pearly won. Regional in Ohio, Fluanderese won. Goofy Ah regional in Ohio. Even in New Zealand, they know that Unchained is crazy. Uh, Greenville, South Carolina, apparently Pearly won. Uh, Orange, Australia, Drytron won. OCE events, folks. No, I'm, I'm being mean. Uh, oh, Salad topped. That's cool. Um, oh my god, there were two Australian events. Tier won one of them? Okay. Phantom Knight got top four at one of them? Okay. Fa Phantom Knight actually topped twice at this event. Okay, all right. What won the remote? Uh, I don't know. I think it was Sprite. It was, um, what's it called? Um, doo doo sprite, poo poo doo doo sprite, sprite brigade. Yeah, try sprite. Ugh. And look, we even have this loser, the curry bandits. Who the fuck is that? Deck check. What's up, guys? Jack Slam from the curry bandits. Uh, I just okay, let me just talk to you real quick about one decision the curry bandits made. Uh, play the game. Uh and there it was. You just saw it right there. Reinforce. I like you, Jaxel. Reinforce. I ain't getting reinforce. It's not happening. You should cut this card. You're a dumbass. Nope. I disagree. Reinforce is based, and I won't listen to any other uh, opinions on that matter. Okay, I didn't think about it that way. Um. Anyway, a uh, cool event. But man. There's just, I swear, there's something in the air in Europe that we, we need to go back. There's some sort of particle that is making people lose to terrible decks from and making the conversion for like Rika incredible. Next up. <clears throat> uh, also, you know, top 64 tier best deck once again. Man, I, I've been doing the tier TMT and I'm, I, I said this yesterday too. I'm really of two minds about it. It's like, oh, okay, Tier's back, Tier's back. I got to play Tier again. But it's just not the same. It's not the same deck at all. It, and the other thing is, it's really bad. I hate to be like this. It is a really, really bad deck. It's not remotely good. But sometimes... <clears throat> all right. This was annoying. Uh, found a new YouTube shorts guy to watch who makes vegetarian meals. But every time he posts something like, uh, try this amazing mushroom steak, every comment is, this isn't a steak. You fucking moron. This is not a steak at all. Uh, it's it's this guy right here. Everyone said it was the burger dude, you, but it's not. It's this guy. You know that you can grow this. And you can make steak like this. This guy, I don't know. I really, I vibe with him. Spicy mustache. I can watch his shit all day. Oh. 
Mm. Look at that. It looks nice. I love this guy. He looks so edgy, but his hobby is growing plants. It's a, he's like a zero waste guy. It's crazy. And it, well, the thing the thing that always frustrates me about these is that a significant amount of his videos are like you can he he has this weird accent. He's like British, but he has he has the British accent where it's forty five different accents in one accent. He's just like you can grow anything anywhere, and he says stuff like that. And people in the comments will be like, yeah, this meal is good for you because you have the time to cook and cultivate a garden. But me, I'm busy. So there's no way that I can do anything other than fucking bang on a McDonald's every day. But every one of his videos is like, for only 30 minutes every month, you can grow your own food and he'll like show you how to do it. But all the comments are still like, yeah, that's nice, but I don't have 30 minutes to spare ever. My life is wholly dedicated to pursuing my professional League of Legends career, all right? It's crazy. Every single one of these uh, videos is like this. I, I think that people who are not vegetarian, who see people who are vegetarian making vegetarian meals, you just got to take the L on this. Like... I have I have yet to hear a good argument about like, oh, you know, uh, this doesn't work for me because I have a disease where I can only eat meat. I, I think you just got to be like, listen, I'm lazy. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> and I'll cop to that. Listen, I understand that meat isn't like you know, it's it's probably not good to eat meat. Uh, but, you know, what are you going to do? You don't have to be, like, super defensive all the time. Like, oh, well, you think that's meat? You fucking moron. <laughs> There's, like, the comment that always shows up on these is like, how come, and it had showed up on this one. And people are like, well, how come vegan food is always made to look like meat? It's like, these people don't hate the concept of meat. They hate that you have to kill someone to get it. Uh, I can't believe people fell for this one. This was like not even bait at this point. I was like, here's all the anime I've watched. And then I put a bunch of cartoons. And a lot of people in the responses are like, you should try this anime. I can't tell if people are like falling for it or if they're like, I know this is bait. I want to recommend anime to you anyway. It's interesting. Uh, this is really strange. Check this out. Duelists, get ready for an all-new Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel competition series. Each week, we'll put two competitors to the test in the ultimate duel. But there's a twist. Each week, competitors will build a deck based on a specific theme. This is Deck Flexing. Make sure to tune in for this all is the deck fucker. around the next. Master Duelist. All right, so this is really cool. I, I'm really happy that they're doing this. I'm glad they reached out to people in the community. Um, so the people they've got in the intro, by the way, this is crazy. Like, <laughs> people in the comments were like, what is the equivalent of Evo Moment 37 but for Master Duel? I'm like, I really don't know. Uh... We got the one uh, VTuber that everybody knows. Okay, this one, listen, I like Rhyme. I like C I, I like this series, okay? I like C-Reacts. I like Rhyme. I like, you know, both of them. They're already doing this. Like, this ain't any... This shit ain't nothing to me, man. <laughs> um, I don't like deck flexing as a name. That's a weird one. It sounds like dick flexing, right? So when are you in that? Uh, I'm in episode 40. I'm going to be playing against um, <laughs> Card Circuit. <laughs> uh, okay, next up. Um, I got so much hate for this one. I said, confirmed it doesn't take more than a third grade education to resolve gimmick puppet nightmare after a nine-year-old topped Dortmund. 
And then I said, what's this kid's Metify? All the comments are like, dude, a lot better than you ever did, idiot. Brandon's an epic deck. And I was like, Jesus, man. A lot of people were like, he didn't even play Gimmick Puppet, which is, I mean, that's worse, right? That's like, that's sadder. And it is, I love this one. It says, give this kid some love and stop hating. It's embarrassing. Do you know who I am? I live to hate. They're like, you're hating on a child? Correct. I will I will hate on children all I love hating on children. Stop making fun of your fan base. Got me. Got my ass. I'm Phoenix107. You want to talk about your tweets? What was it about your balls and Jillian? She wanted balls. I don't know what to say. And the last thing was I saw this little guy on the road. He was trying to cross the road. Um, and so I had to, uh, move him to the other side of the road cause he didn't understand what a car was, but I picked it up and everyone in the comments is like, you washed your hands white, right? Uh, I did not wash my hands. Uh, whoops. Um, I, <laughs> so I might be getting, uh, salmonella, but we'll see. Oh, Jillian saw one too. These are very pretty. I didn't realize how pretty the wild turtles are. What's going on with the feet? What's the problem with the feet? What do you mean? Clown shoes? Oh no, those are my Crocs. I get so many compliments on these crocs uh my brother for christmas one year was like hey um do you want crocs for Chris?" or he gave everyone crocs for christmas and he was like what crocs do you want and i was like oh whatever the stupidest crocs are and the stupidest crocs apparently are these they're doppler radar crocs <laughs> And I love them. I think they're great. Uh, I will someone from my local um, saw that I had those and they were getting Crocs anyway. And they were like, oh my God, I'm going to get those. They come to locals the next week. Not only did they have the Crocs, they have like a, a one and a half year old child and they had bought them the, the child sized Doppler Crocs. It was so cute. It was like the most adorable thing I've ever seen. He was like, check it out. The kid was walking around on the table. Oh. I miss that local. It's been closed for three weeks because they're renovating. Renovating a local. Hmm. You ever see the KFC Crocs? No. What? Streamer, my link. Sus! Oh, so if you're not a, a familiar, right now in Rush Duel, the Mimi and Mimi event is going on. And the plot of that one, you all you all listened to a little bit of the plot of Rush Duel yesterday. You know how much Hypno Kink is in it. But uh, the Mimi and Mimi event is going on right now. And that plot line is she is a 30-year-old woman who could pass for a, a, a fifth grader. So she goes undercover at the school and the whole, the whole thing is like, she goes undercover and then immediately blows her cover by trying to fellow kids. So like all of her lines are like, that's bogus. That's her lose quote. She goes, that's so bogus. And she's like, it would be tubular if we could hang out. And so, so it led to, to this cap, which is. There's something sus about her. Did the Simpsons do the same thing? Yeah, the Martin plotline, right? One of her lose quotes is gag me with a spoon. That one is so good. She says that in the uh, in the video game too. There's something among us sus about her. <coughs> Mm. 
Rush's peak, this shit is hey, so chef, funny. It's I pretty good. I put on the ticket that that Greek salad is dressing on the side. Of course you did. Hey, Nico, I need Why is Greek it just playing a short? Oh, Doug has uploaded. First look at new horrors support. Here we go. Hey everybody, it's me, Dazeef, and I'm back Thank with another Overlord sponsored Konami video. The corner, and in today's video, I'm going to cover the highly anticipated new Horus cards that are in the set. These level 8 monsters horse, have horse, 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 effects and abilities that punish the opponent for removing cards on the field. The main spell holding the theme together is King's Sarcophagus, so let's- Man, why do Horus players <laughs> fuck so good? Ah, they put the dick in the Scarmophagus. Let's take a look at that card first. King Sarcophagus is a continuous spell card that says horse monsters you can Josh ratio. By no, are we getting ratioed by Josh? God damn it. We get ratioed every morning by Josh. I load up stream and he has 9,000 viewers. Josh, I got to say. He he is an inspiration. He has, like, over the past three months, just become, like, the second uh, most watched streamer on the platform. He's popping off. Josh raids you after what you say about Euro events. Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry about Euro events. I, I said they were fake. We're watching the um, brown nose. I, I'm not getting anything out of this. Or am I? Josh, your check just cleared, by the way. He doesn't have me in, as an editor, so it's kind of L. Well, he wants... he. I think Josh wants his own style for his videos, not the same style that you can already see on <laughs> Farfa and Friends. Um, all right. Uh, ECG is my favorite way to play Yu-Gi-Oh. DK is my number one, even after the view bot. Hey, whoa, 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 Farfa. Let's not... <laughs> let's not speculate about anything here. We wouldn't want to violate Toss, would we? Ugh. Yeah, I don't know if you all saw, but um, they're removing the ability for autoplay on third-party websites for Twitch, which means that theoretically, if you have a website where you autoplay your stream at the bottom of every website so that your viewer number is always extremely high, that's not going to be doable anymore. Like Fextra Life. <laughs> <coughs> all right. So anyway... Anyway, Magic the Gathering live streams are doomed. I mean, I do that. Why do you think I pimp out YGO Pro Deck? If you ever go to YGO Pro Deck, look. There's a little stream of me down in the corner. You can't see it because it's a one by one square. <laughs> no, I remember when this first started happening and I was talking to Alan about it, who runs YGO Pro Deck, and he was like, that's crazy. I mean, if it's legal, is that something you would want us to do for your stream? And I was like, I appreciate it. No. <laughs> no. Absolutely. <laughs> no, I'm good. Um, Because it, it fucks. Listen, this is the actual thing no one will tell you about that type of thing. There are a million ways to get kind of artificial views on your videos, on your live streams, but if they're not active people, it's just a number. Like it's just a fake number in the corner. And as soon as you do one integration with someone at a monetary price relative to that number, you will never get another one because it won't convert. So it's not a good idea long term. Doesn't Dueling Book do it? I don't. <clears throat> See, but this is different, right? <coughs> because these aren't auto-playing. So it's not going to count to their viewers unless I click through. What uh, what you doing there, buddy? What are you talking about? Uh, Going to a third-party uh, Yu-Gi-Oh simulator? Yes, yeah, some of us still have that ability, Farfa. Hey, look. <laughs> Guess who I am? Not Farfa. <laughs> Let's just... Oh, yeah, this is it. Okay, well, this actually sucks anyway. All right, let's go back to what we were doing, which is watching uh, Doug spoil the new Horus cards. Do you want my account? I'm good. 
by card effects that do not target them. You can send one card from your hand to the graveyard to send one horse has, monster from your deck to the graveyard. Has a 96, thank you for the sub. True for Aldo, thank you for the 32. Waiver 7, thank you for the prime. At the start of the wow, and thank you everyone for following. Uh, Maddie Naps, 1997, thank you for the 7. Thanks for all the follows. I didn't know there was no crossover between Joshua Schmidt's audience and me. Essentially, as long as you have enough cards Guys, if you love Joshua Schmidt, you're going to love my channel. It's like Joshua Schmidt's, except I just... because you can. I'm not very good at Yu-Gi-Oh! and I just say bussy over and over again. On turn one, as long as you just have a few cards to get rid of. It especially combos with <clears> all the cards that can replace themselves if you get rid of them, like Volcanic Shell. Volcanic no, Shell but Schmidt, like, having a lot of viewers, it's real good. Line, I'm constantly cool. afraid the the that the ecosystem is just, too. like, the already solved. Already that, like, there's no way for new people to get into, like, the Yu-Gi-Oh! streaming and Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTube infrastructure. Let's take a look at the actual monsters, though, that you'll be sending. If that ever happens, happens it's just the death of the platform like if there's no new blood ever coming in in terms of content creation that's it we just write off residuals until the sun explodes and that can't happen so it's it's really 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 good seeing people not only get in but also have amazing success um obviously josh has been in the community forever but it's great to see that his like content creation pivot has gone so well uh Ragan, thank you for the 10 okay imseti glory of horus uh, it, Josh really does more for the competitive scene than Konami does. Well, the bar for that one is, uh, <clears throat> the best view bot for your channel is just to win worlds. He was big before that. And also master dual worlds. I mean, he won with Quantal. <laughs> Bunch of Farfa viewers showing up. Anyway. Okay. So Imseti Glory of Horus. Okay. How are we going to mispronounce this one? Is Imseti, <laughs> Quantal's in chat. Oops. <laughs> I was kind of hoping, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> uh, I'm Seti. I'm going to call him I'm Seti. We'll do that. Um, if you control King Skarmophagus, you can special summon this card from your graveyard. You can only special summon him Seti Glory of Horus once per turn. Use each of the following effects once per turn. Send two cards from your hand to the graveyard, including Glory this card. Add a Skarmophagus from your deck to your hand. Draw a card. If another card you control says, leaves the field by an opponent's card effect, while this card is in your monster zone, send a card on the field to the graveyard. You can only okay. special summon Glory of Horus once per turn this way. I'll You'll make sure to commit war crimes at Indy Choke. Yeah, go all the way, baby. I ain't going to Indy. It's so fucked. Indy's like in America, and to my understanding, Every American that I would want to see at this event is not going. Hand, I feel so bad. Can draw one card. I'm not going either. If another card or cards I need to rest. leaves the field by an opponent's card effect while this card is in your monster zone, you can send one <clears> card <throat> on the field to the graveyard. Glory of Horus is a fantastic monster for the King Sarcophagus theme, and it's probably the most Oh, chat's got some interesting insight. In OCG tier, you summon Ruler, excavate Imseti, add Imseti, search Psark, make Vampire rank it with Ruler, Imseti, and go ham. You can't do that here, so I think Horus will flop as a result. Monster yeah, so we were doing a By TMT card, on Horus tier and, one other and, card in and hand we had to stop we had to pivot to just normal draw, tier not only because the deck is just line, it doesn't but also cycles you it's not good I don't know what to say then, it's just not very good is there anything in Indiana oh yeah it's a great city this card for free from the graveyard and then while it's on the field it has that deterrent effect which can be pretty annoying for the I'm just gonna Google to fun with. stuff to the do next in monster we're looking at is Duamutef blessing of Horus this is another that's not how you say it Duamutef no shot. All right, how are we saying this card? If you control King Sark... Uh... Uh... Dandruff, love it. Dandruff, Blessing of Horus. Sarcophagus, you can special summon this card from your graveyard. And you can only special summon one of these per turn that I'm way. actually like looking said, up fun stuff to do in effect, Indiana, and, and it does make them really good it's not discards good. for the King's The number one thing, effect. Children's well, Museum of Indiana. Well, 1,200 attack and defense for each Horus monster you control, and of course, that does include itself. If another card or card... In fact, every one of these things says, number one is Children's Museum of Indiana. Zone, Apparently, it's the greatest museum in the history of time. to the number of monsters with different names in your main monster zone. Already, you can start to see why these cards are so... Okay, you can only special summon one per turn. Gains 1,200 for each Horus you control. Uh, same deal as the other ones. Draw cards equal to the number of monsters with different names in your main monsters. So oh, cool. good. As long as you have King Sarcophagus on your board, you can summon them for free every single turn. And then if your opponent tries to remove anything on your field, well, they're going to trigger some Horus effects. Next up, we have Hoppy Guidance of... You know, actually, I, I will say right now, um, I think I would like to go to Indiana. It, I'm looking at the fun things to do, and it's all like trails, museums. Okay, I could, I could fuck with this. 
I would want to go to the Motor Speedway Museum. I would want to go to the Museum of Art. I'd want to go to Turkey Run State Park. That's what I would want to do. Uh, Hoppy. That's not what I'm calling this card. It's got to be happy, right? Happy, happy, happy. Happy, 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 happy. Do you want to go together? I can't. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I'm not going to Indiana. Happy, 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 happy. Do we have the happy emote? We should. If you control King Skarmophagus, you can special summon this card from your graveyard once per turn. If another card you control leaves the field by an opponent's card effect, uh, target two cards that are banished in the graveyard, add both to your hand or shuffle both in the deck. Horus, a level eight wind beast okay. warrior monster that says if you control King Sarcophagus, you can special summon this card from your graveyard, but of course you can only special summon one happy Guidance of Horus once per turn. I'm not calling way. this. If oh, another card wait, he said happy. zone. Card from Hold up. Hoppy Guidance of Horus. He called it Hoppy. Eight, you all heard that. But of course, you can only special summon one Happy Guidance. But then he called it Happy. This way, if minor card pronunciation you mistake. An opponent's card effect. While this card is in your monster zone, you can target two cards that are banished. Which is it, Doug? Graveyards. Either add both to the hand or Hoppy both or into the deck. Happy. You can use Guidance's effect in a couple different ways. Make up it can be your used mind. To disrupt the opponent by shuffling back some cards that maybe they <laughs> wanted in the graveyard or in their banished pile. But also, you can put back your own cards, and if you want to, you can even add them back to your hand, which could help you discard even more things for the King Sarcophagus effect. Finally, we have the protect. Oh! Uh... Kebisenuf? Of Horus, let's take a look at what this one does. If you sarcophagus effect. Finally, we have the protection of Horus. Let's take a. He didn't even try. He said we have the protection of Horus. Look at what this one does. If you control King Sarcophagus, you can special summon this. Come on, come on. Tell me what it's called. Card from your graveyard, and you can only special summon one of these per turn. One of these! One of these! Turn this way. If another card you control leaves the field by an opponent's <laughs> card effect while this card is in your monster zone, this turn your opponent's monsters cannot target Horus monsters. More like Doug Kebisenuf. Attacks also your Quebecois condom of Horus. Card effects. Keep in mind that in combination with King Sarcophagus, this makes your Horus monsters protected by targeting and These are like fine cards, card but effects. they they Finally, don't really do anything, Kenopic right? Protector, a continued by targeting back. and non targeting card effects finally we have canopic protector db grinder pronouncing the q horus card i can't believe you've sent me this all right chat here we go uh you know what actually let's put up a poll you all know how db grinder uh tends to pronounce things i'm gonna say close or not close 30 seconds on this will he be close or will he be not close I'm going to say he gets it 100% accurate. <laughs> okay, that's, you know, that's a decision. You can, I'm not going to stop you from saying that. Josh's channel already knows. Oh, no, that's okay. They'll just get free points. I think that probably everybody already knows. Cash effect mil. Here we go. Three mils. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Real name there. Uh, Queb Ishanuf. I'm gonna give it to him. I'm gonna give it to the boy. That was way closer than I thought it was gonna be. That was way closer than I thought it was gonna be. He sounded it out and everything. A continuous trap card that says, once per chain, when your opponent activates a card or effect, you can special summon one Horus monster from your hand or graveyard, but for the rest of this turn, <laughs> you cannot special summon monsters with the same original name by the effect of Kenopic Hey, I appreciate Protector. it, Cult of Denial. If this card is sent from the hand or field to the mm. graveyard, you can mm. set this card, mm. but banish it when it leaves the field. This is a pretty good way oh, okay. to put more Horus monsters. I love you. I love you. I won't be home until late. Do you want food when you get home? Yes. Okay. Maybe a delicious meal from every plate. Wow, a delicious meal from every... They didn't actually sponsor us this month, so we didn't say shit about every plate. Oh, okay. HelloFresh did, so we got to be like, oh, oh a Hello delicious meal from, from HelloFresh. We don't, we don't order HelloFresh. It's the same company. <laughs> Monsters on the board, and it oh, even sets it's itself... It's a really nice day out. You should take Sadie out. Yeah. Yeah, enjoy the fresh air. Okay. I love you. I love you, too. Mm. See you later. See you.
itself if you discard it with the King's Sarcophagus effect. So with all these Horus cards, we have four level eight monsters that can special summon themselves from the graveyard pretty easily, and the King's Sarcophagus can use its effect to put he them didn't all even in try the graveyard on off. turn one. The Horus cards are great discards for effects. Is HelloFresh actually good in there as a code I can use? All right, so HelloFresh pays for the YouTube videos. They don't pay for the Twitch stream, so I'm gonna shill them here. I'll tell you this. The one thing I dislike about HelloFresh is that they always have an additional thing you have to do. They have the meal, and the meal's almost always good, uh, but then they're like, and now we're going to make a salad with a bag of spinach, some cut up cherry tomatoes and some olive oil and some lemon juice. And I'm like, OK, that's nice. I have no problem with that. I don't want to take another 15 minutes to make that shit. Like, I'm just going to eat the normal and every plate doesn't do that. Course two. Forbidden Droplet is a fantastic card, and the Horus monsters are great discards. I hate for their it. carrots. And I actually card really like, like their that carrots. Can discard the Horus monsters to dig you even deeper into your deck. <sighs> Almost any deck that uses the graveyard in some way will want to try out these Horus monsters. They're just that good. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I'll catch you later. Goodbye. Soldier Boy is playing Cyber Dragon on Master Duel. That's funny. Uh, I don't know how to feel about the Horus cards because I, I always hear about how strong they are and like what exactly <clears throat> they do for all these decks that are already really good like Tier Element. Um, but I never see them deliver. Uh, it, it's really strange because like it's one of those decks like Therion, right? It's a lot like Therion to me because like psychically they have a big hold over like the future of Yu-Gi-Oh will include Horus monsters. But in reality, I just, I don't see them ever. I don't see them in lists. I don't see them like topping. I don't see people playing it outside of decks that are already independently good. I don't know. And I don't think that I mean, without the without Chaos Ruler, I just I don't know if it's going to be good in the TCG. We were trying it in Tier Lament for the ten minute testing, and we couldn't make it work. Like it was all right, but it wasn't better than normal Tier Lament. I don't know. Isn't Horus Centurion one of the best decks in the OCG right now? Well, if the Horus cards are good with another series of cards I'm unfamiliar with, that, I mean, I could believe that. I could buy that. But I don't know. Wait, is he the only one that uploaded? We didn't get anything else? Wait, and we got the... <laughs> the Zulu Worlds vlog? It's October! Cette vidéo is sponsorized by Konami. Ah, Zutalo! C'est Japan! Ah, c'est Joshua Schmidt! Oh, il s'est au Japon pour vivre! C'est parti! Man, Zalou's got him by the fucking balls, by the way. This vlog has like establishing shots in it and stuff. I see why this went up in October. There were probably 400 meetings where they were like, take out this and this and this and this and this and this and this. Look, they had to blur somebody! The petite cat! Oh my fucking God, I would kill to go into a 7-Eleven. Wait, is that actually a 7-Eleven? They have 7-Elevens in Japan? Maybe that maybe Japan is the greatest country in the world. Look at this. I go into a 7-Eleven and find Rush Duel cards. Wait, is Marshmallow in Rush Duel? No, that's not a Rush frame. 7-Eleven is huge in Japan. Oh, really? I mean, it's huge here. I love it. I, I've told 7-Eleven multiple times. I've told Goodwill this, too. If you want to start an esports team, I will head it. I will head 7-Eleven esports. I will head Goodwill Esports. Goodwill Gaming. Japan 7-Elevens are like you look down the street and you see three different 7-Elevens on different sides of the street. That's funny. It's Japanese owned? What? Convenience stores in general are big in Japan. Yeah, I, I imagine that. The one thing that I, I now have a disease about is I always look to see what the telephone infrastructure looks like in these videos. 
right? Look at this. So Japan, it looks like they have a bunch of wire, like in a big clump right here. And I just want to know why that is. I know in India, the telephone uh, lines are just wrapped with wire because there's no like telecom regulation. Like a lot of these states, the in the um, spread of telecom infrastructure outpaced regulatory structures so like there's these places that have been grandfathered in that are just like huge fire hazards on poles it's so fun i i don't know i i <laughs> i may have a very specific brain problem <clears throat> i don't even play geoguessr yeah i don't even play geoguessr i just i actually just have an interest in it Oh, it's because of the earthquakes. Oh, okay. All right, this is enough walking around Japan. Wait, is that Farfa? Oh! I'm, I am digging this, like, lo-fi beats to duel to. It is always crazy to me to see people be like, ah, uh, Japanese, the Japanese streets are unlike anything that's in America. It's like, it's just New York, right? It's just like New York with slightly more cars. And it's cleaner. Okay, I obviously it's cleaner. The bar for that one is on the floor. False New York is Atlantis now? Yeah, by the way. Oh, it's cleaner. Well, guess what city just got a thorough washing, okay? Yeah, talking about Tokyo here, yeah. <laughs> And with less homeless. Well, in Japan, they just shoot them, right? <laughs> just like... <laughs> oh, you're homeless? Ah, that's death penalty. How did he think that was going to work? You're trying to flip it onto a curved surface. The only cities I've lived in are New York and Chicago. So anytime I go anywhere, I'm amazed by how clean and bright everything is. I'm sorry, Jaxel. That's rough. <laughs> you picked the two dirtiest cities in the United States of America. Well, except for those like Mississippi cities that don't have like water. Ah, Cyberstorm Access. Oh, so Doug was telling me a little about buying cards in Japan. And they're like... It's way different. Not to be like, ah, the glorious, like, um, the glorious Japanese integrity and stuff like that. Not to be like that. But they literally will be like, you're like, oh, I'd like this and this and this out of a case. And they'll be like, okay. And they'll hand you the card and make you inspect it in front of them. So they'll, they'll make you take it out of the sleeve and check the back and make sure there's no scuffing before they'll let you buy it. And Doug was just like, no, that's okay. I don't need to do that. Like, I trust you guys. And they're like, no, no, please. We insist. That's annoying to me. I want to get ripped off. Oh, but but Doctor Strange Joe has figured it out. It's not because of any sort of honor system. It's so that you can't return it. So you can't come back later and be like, this card is scuffed. That's still better than scamming. Hey. Scamming is a tried and true part of it, of, of Yu-Gi-Oh. Hey, where'd the subtitles go? I don't speak this language. Greetings from Liechtenstein. Do you even know that country? I've heard of it. I'm sorry, Zulu. I know this is a sponsored Konami video. You will not get me excited about the Konami sleeves. Anyone ever used the Konami sleeves? You know how, like, PC whites after four rounds are just unusable because they're so grimy? The official Konami sleeves are unusable after four rounds because they've all split. 
Et je vais, je vais grab un mec là, un des influenceurs. Je vais lui dire assieds-toi. He has an outer for the extra. Okay, well. Meant for double sleeving? Uh, th that's such cope. These are meant for double sleeving. Uh, don't pay attention to the fact that they were manufactured decades before double sleeving was legal. <clears throat> and now we're playing a game of Yu-Gi-Oh. I didn't come here to watch Yu-Gi-Oh. He's playing tunes. Cash Tira tune. Maxi! C'est ton Maxi! They call it Max G over there. You know what they call Max C in uh, in Japan? They don't call it Max C. No, they call it Max G. Max G. Well, what do they call G Gola? Oh, they call it G Gola. Le <laughs> Rock. <laughs> It's not a good draw. Wait, actually, it is a good draw. He's epic. He's epic. But look at him blur all the shit. What do you have to blur? <laughs> How do they say cockroach in Japan? It's Gokiburi. Oh, that's why they say G. Cockroach. Gokiburi. 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 Ugh. Are Japanese cockroaches different than ours? Are they like <laughs> grosser? Let's go. Let's go. How do you feel uh, losing against Tun? It's amazing because uh, all of my master was controlled by him. <laughs> I got nothing left. <laughs> I got nothing left. Japanese cockroaches. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> they are different. They're like black. Oh. They made it to the US in 2013. That's rough. Are they shiny? <laughs> I don't think so. No, they're mostly brownish. What color is this, chat? What color is this? Red, yeah. Dark brown. You are just committed to the bit. You are committed to making me look wrong. This is, this is black. You're not gonna, you're not gonna, look at this. What color is this, chat? If you answer brown, you're going back a grade. You're going to have to repeat the third grade once again. Green. Shut the fuck up. White and gold. <laughs> yeah. Je crois qu'il attend. What is that? 5,000. <laughs> wow, this is the best one of these vlogs I've seen yet. It makes this event look like a really cool happening place instead of a fucking disaster. They should have released this a couple of days after the event instead of five months later. <coughs> Wait! Wait, what the fuck?! Did Quantel not give them his name? Was Qu were they like, okay, what's your name? Well, my name's Josh. My name's Emra. Uh, mine is Quantel Think. It's me, Quantel Think. We all know his name. Oh, it's the username. Oh, is your username Josh? 
face à l'américain uh, Jesse Cotton et sa... Oh, well, this one says Jesse Cotton. Oh, no, yeah, okay, wait, no, hold up. I, I'm pretty sure... <laughs> Ryan Yu's name is not Ray. Oh, no, no, that's Raymond Dye. His name is Ray. <laughs> they got him in the LCS setups. Oh, we got the Rhino Heart. <laughs> That's not... Oh, there he is. Bump, 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 bump. We're dueling. No fooling. It's time for this deck to get completely banned out. <laughs> if my girl, M.O. Yay. How old is Quantal? Quantal's 40. A uh, Snipe Hunters! Felicitations! Wait, hold up. Look at the guy in the blue! What the fuck? We didn't do any of that! Wait, what? Okay, hold up. A lot going on in this picture. So, the guy in the blue is the Duel Links guy, right? Does no one know anything about Duel Link's worlds? No one has any understanding of who won Duel Link's worlds or under what circumstances. Also, he's like way off to the side. They're like, all right, you four hang out in the middle. Then you you go off into fucking La La Land. <coughs> Additionally, <coughs> Quantal is 20. Yeah, I hope that's not true. I really need that not to be true. Um... We've got what appears to be, yeah, chat said the Daft Punk tribute band here. And is this flags with LEDs? Yeah, they, they were like, all right, we're going to light up to the American flag if the American wins. Because, I mean, we are not going to waste money purchasing an American flag on the off chance that an American finally figures out how to play this card game. Okay, I am 20, why? Holy shit. I support <sighs> Quantal is a baby. Yes, 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 yes. I'm so happy uh, for you as uh, European guys. I'm, uh, so no, I need everyone to be like Joshua Schmidt age. Schmidt's like 30, right? He's like 26, 27 at least. What is the thing that the other I don't like hearing these Gen Z people winning worlds. Schmidt is 16, yeah. He's 28, yeah. He has to be old. He's been playing this fucking game since he was a baby. Did they not ask Quantal anything? <laughs> Quantal, do you know French? No. Imagine being 30 and playing a kid's game couldn't be me. Yeah, me neither. All those guys are 4'8 and Quantal 6. Quantal's actually 5'10, but like Josh is, Josh is 4'9, you know. <laughs> Josh was 16 in 2012, I learned that today. Well, then he's 27. Les larmes en fait de, de, de Joshua qui mesure peut-être tout le chemin parcouru et qui peut enfin savoir. I'm only 2M. The fuck is 2M? 2M. Ça résume un peu, ça fait un russe sur Duel Links, une équipe européenne sur Master Duel. Meters! The fuck is a meter? C'est incroyable ce voyage, tenez à vous remercier. Oh, 2 meters is 6'5. <coughs> or 6'6? Six, six? I mean, that's still Quantal. That's very tall. <coughs> Quantal gave me neck ache looking at him at YCS London. Yeah, okay, so maybe I would not say it like that. What you see, what he sees, you know. <laughs> that was a fun one. That's a That was a good vlog. I can't believe it took forever to come out. All right, we're just chilling for 15 minutes while we wait for Douglas Zeef. Let's open up Master Duel. We'll play the new solo mode. How's that sound? And we'll play... Or, you know what? Let's play the old solo mode with the deck that we're bringing today. Ew, Yu-Gi-Oh. Ew, Yu-Gi-Oh yourself, you fucking pee, -pee buttheads.
Did we pull already? Yeah, we pulled like four weeks ago. Rush, rush, go rush. What happened with Doug? I thought the series with it was over. Doug and I, we, we ironed out our differences. As you all know, uh, the series was on hiatus because Doug said some stuff that was like really homophobic. Um, but <laughs> if any of you bought that bit, like while it was happening, I'm sorry, you got owned. Uh, Doug's one of the nicest people in, in the, uh, in the community. The reason that we weren't doing it is because, uh, he was, he needed some time off after going to all the fucking events in a row. Had nothing to do with like, uh, okay. So wait, I I'll be a little more specific. So we're two weeks behind. The second week was because after Cancun, all of us got like the flu within a couple of days of coming back to the United States or some sort of unspecified illness. You know, when you travel and you come back and your immune system's like, okay, that was a lot. And then you're on an airplane and stuff. It's easy to get a cold. The reason we didn't do it the first week is because I thought we were a week ahead and we were planning it and we didn't plan for one because I thought we were a week ahead, but we were not a week ahead. Uh, okay, this is insane. <clears throat> As someone who has known Doug for a long time, he's more homo than homophobic. <sighs> God, I wish. Maybe you just gotta... Maybe I'm just getting rejected is what's happening. All right, so this is the concept is like, we just have like Dryden and Metal Foes. So the I think what I'm doing here is we're just gonna scale Gold Driver, scale Volflame. We'll PS out the uh, Amorphage Sloth and that'll just like, that'll be the board. This is fine. Uh, we should summon it in attack, quick thing to remember. Uh, and then we'll go Gold, gold Driver, pop Volflame. Uh, from this position, this is like kind of a weird one. We probably want to get combo. Counter is pretty good too. Hmm. Let's get combo. <coughs> like the reason you don't get combo here is you're afraid they're going to get your gold driver. But we have like Dryden't too. Oh, that was actually really risky. I should not have let him resolve this. Oh, this is actually an inherent, so we could theoretically strike it. It's all fine. You do whatever you want. Right? Keep going, baby. Oh, Dunker. That guy's getting mega popped. Okay, this is kind of unfortunate. Um, should have struck one of these. We're learning much here today. They do get the Dryden here, and we can't use the effect of the uh, Whiptail. But we do win from this position, so it's all right. Bill Tin Summon. You're right, you're right. My bad. Man. Go grab Para here. Uh, maybe we just go grab Counter. Like, we're playing the Sloth game. We're never going to, like, access the extra deck. Yeah, let's do that. Just grab... Like, a great one here. Got full Flame again. Ugh, okay. Wait, why can't we summon the Volflame here? It's from the extra deck and we're slothed. Learning much today. Okay, this is good. This is, folks, this is why we, this is why we, uh, <laughs> this is why we run the practice games before we jump into, uh, into Saga. Oh, Sloth is kind of dog shit in that case. Doesn't know his own deck. Well, it's built out of nothing. Okay, this is a pretty good hand. All right, so this is ideally what we want to do. Just, like, find a free special somewhere. Oh, come on. Uh, is it the Bismagear? It's if it's destroyed, right? Yeah, let's just do this. Mm. Go Electromite here. Uh, I think we scale Para, Bismagear. Uh, I guess we want the Melcaster. 
We draw one. We trigger Bismu. This is kind of a whack hand, though. It looks like we're doing nothing. <clears throat> yeah. That's not good. I guess theoretically we could Melcaster to go get combo, but I feel like we just get run over. Just pass here. Uh, grab another one of her. It's, uh, it's strange. We, so we could theoretically also play plants. All right, sure. But I just feel like this is the one that can absorb the most hits. It's the one that, like, plays closer to the ground, if that makes sense. Oh, no, we're not doing that. Got any other decks? Yeah, we can play plants with the metal foes. <clears throat> Ugh. B troopers have a pack now. I'm so frustrated by that. They get a pack now, now that I can't do anything about it. Uh, let's just PS, I think. How many do we have? Three. Don't you just have to win one to win the series? Yes, but winning one is quite difficult at this point in time. Have you seen what we're up against? How many episodes are left for this season? Four? Three or four. Doug literally has full power sword soul. Yeah, that's what we're up against, is Doug has full power sword soul. It's not full, full power. He only has one Moye, but it's bad. It's not good. This hand's interesting. Opening the combo every time here. Uh, I guess we go Para here. Hmm. Kind of a whack opening, but a book combo is fine. We should have done that differently if we were going to do that. We should have gone set Bisma gear, Melcaster pop it, use the Vanisher for the Mithrilium. We need to just be playing with like a purpose here is the only difference. Uh, counter here or fusion? Probably counter. <clears throat> uh, we'll grab Melcaster here. Go Mithrilium. Shuffle back these boys. Scale Melcaster. PS. Oh shit, look at this. That's funny. We could go Para here. We could like Para into Mithrilium. Yeah, let's do that. <coughs> oh, we could go Azortless. Well, it doesn't do anything. Myth, uh, Myth Effect and Grave, Summon Out, Vanisher, Monster, your opponent controls. Okay, learning much. <clears throat> Is this lethal? Feels close. Yeah, we made it. Okay. I don't know. I 
It seems all right. But man, it's just like Doug could just open the stones and we could get fucked. Since when was Metal Foes not just a bunch of vanilla pens plus the one effect pen? Uh, so we're playing a sealed environment. This hand is killer. Oh wow, how do we want to do this? This one's actually hard. So let's 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 think here. So we can die for <clears throat> Die for Gold Driver, normal Bisma gear. Make Heavy Metal Fuzz Electromite, but in doing that, we don't have <coughs> The ability to get scales. So I feel like we're always summoning Thoroughblade in that case. We have Alkahest, yeah. Yeah, I think this one is die for sure. Normal Thoroughblade. Uh, make a big ass Drydent. <clears throat> How long before Saga? Uh, two minutes, I think. I mean, this seems pretty good. I'm going to be honest. This seems all right. End step, we resolve Bismagear. <clears throat> Grab a one. I think the plant version puts up better boards, to be honest. Let me open up the plant version after this. We'll try it out. <clears throat> this isn't a quick, right? Puray Maker. All right, cool deck. <coughs> Bad draw. counter here. We could fusion into Alkahest again. We're going to do that for sure. What's the plan if he goes first? Die. Octo stretch. Uh, okay. You know, sure. Uh, we could set another counter, like counter, counter, uh, use Melcaster to add this guy back to hand. That's pretty good. Oh, that's, I mean, that's not bad. That's a decent draw. <coughs> Moye tanks it? Yeah, I mean, probably. Alpha would have to do a lot of work here. Okay, we win.
summon a bunch of assholes here. Make big eye, good call. I don't know, I feel like... <clears throat> I, I don't know, I feel like I wanna try this one over the plant one. I think we'll try the plant one next time if this fails. Do you have any sevens? I don't think it's worth, I think we have like great harmonizer great l but i our extra deck's actually pretty tight we could probably cut one of the zoo guys but that's really all i'd feel confident doing <laughs> we could also play a utopia double over successor soul we haven't drawn successor soul yet i'm hoping it's good Can we see plant? Sure. Wait, why can't I copy from my own deck? Uh, let's see what the plant one looks like. Okay, so we're still playing all of these guys. We're still playing Emmerphage Sloth. And all the Kaijus. Uh, we're not playing Zoos. That guy is also a zoo. I don't know, dog. I'm, I'm looking at this. It doesn't look very good. Okay, so what he wants me to play is... Genus Loki, Draconat. Oh, not you. Shadow. Twin. Box of Friends. And two Ojamas. And then the extra deck is we take out all the Xyz. And we keep an Azort list, and then one of this guy, one of this guy, one of this guy. Then we put in the plant stuff. Dryades, Dryas, this guy, Healer. Thrasher, um, Malias, wherever he is, and Bengalancer. Uh, we're not even playing the continuous trap. Also, clear new world. What am I supposed to take out? This sucks. Yeah, I don't think it's very good. Took out the book. All right, sure. No sewing? Yeah, what the fuck? No sewing. Oh. Bloom. Not that bloom. What are we taking out? Uh, we're not playing any of the bad pendulums. So this guy is gone. Um, what the fuck is the last card we're supposed to take out? Oh, two cards, actually, because we have Piri Res Map in here. <clears throat>
I literally don't. Oh, wants me to take out combo. <coughs> You're not on para metaphos? Holy shit. That's like the best card in the deck. I'm going to take out Sloth. Or I'm going to take out one of the Kaiju. We got three Kaiju in here. And we only have two. Take out one of these. All right, let's let's try this out in a solo mode. What have we not completed? Legend of the Star Heroes, sure. MBT, what's legal positivism? Can you ban that guy? I ain't trying to do schoolwork. can get box of friends with Piri Rice map. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> you uh you fucking got me, buddy. You <coughs> You got me. This, this is sick. Ah, uh, is it? I don't know. Let me pull up the combos. I have your, the stupid combo sheet here somewhere. Okay, there we go. Try another hand and see if it's any better. I mean, this is... This is insane. You understand that, right? This is like a massive winning hand. Okay, so that's that part. Um, and now... Why didn't that trigger? Timing is missed. It's an if. 
Locked into plants? When do we get locked into plants? We are plant locked. Sewing. Fuck. But what would we have done with them anyway? There's nothing interesting we can do. They're just guys. In fact, why are we playing Box of Friends? It doesn't do anything. <coughs> oh, it gets us to genus loci. Oh, yuck. Oh, that's really not good. All right, I'm calling this one. We'll do this next week if it if it doesn't pan out. All right, let me do the profile. <laughs> so here's what we're playing. Unfortunately, Metal Foes turned out to be a little bit more of a frustrating... Wait, what the... What the fuck? Where's the other Metal Foes? Are they in solo mode? Is that what the problem was? Legacy pack? No. No. They are in legacy packs? Alright. Yup! So this is what we're playing this week. I know this looks incredible. Metal Foes Zoo probably strikes fear into the heart of anyone who is playing during Zoo format, but uh, temper your expectations just a little bit. So it turns out we're actually two Metal Foes short. Metal Foes Steelin and Metal Foes Silvered are Legacy Pack only, which means even by using the lifeline that allows us a playset of the commons and uncommons, we were still only able to pick up 12 total names, which you'll recognize is not enough. This means it's going to be unlikely that we can consistently set up Heavy Metal Foes Electromite Turn 1, but it also means that if we can make it to Turn 3, we are probably going to win the game on the spot. Outside of the Metal Foes and the Zodiac cards, uh, Thoroughblade, uh, Whiptail, uh, this card is also a Zodiac, if you are unfamiliar. We're just playing good stuff. You know, we've got the Kaijus, we've got uh, Alpha Master of Beasts. We have an Amorphage Sloth, which is really funny. Uh, we've got Book of Moon. Um, we've also got some cards that specifically work with the Metal Foes, Piercing the Darkness, uh, Successor Soul. All of these are really strong with a specific understanding of how our deck works. Now, we did actually toy with playing a build of Metal Foes that is also on the plant stuff, trying to use, like, the Metal Foes cards to pop Box of Friends for more uh, attempts at Genius Loci. Uh, but we're going to keep that in the back pocket because I think it's a little too telegraphed, and I don't want to run back plants three weeks in a row into whatever Doug's playing. Whatever Doug's playing. Yeah, I wonder. Anyway, let's uh, hope that Bay can get us there. All right, bada bing. <coughs> oh fuck, the background music was on. I'll have to redo that. For the Krush card. Where is Douglas? MBTM said to report the Doctor Who crossover has one really cool card. I saw Blink. I was like, damn, that's tight. That's tight as hell. Regrettably. <coughs> Didn't you pull Super Poly from the Hero Pack? Oh, hello. Hey, 
Sorry, my internet like just disconnected right then. So uh, hopefully this doesn't go too bad. How's it been going? Uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's been a it's been a rough week. Um. No, it's good. Uh, honestly, it's good we didn't do one last time. I can't guarantee I would have been on. I had stomach flu right after I, we got back. Yeah, so did um, Aisha, actually. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> I think that uh, those Mexico food things sometimes can get you a little bit. No, I, yeah. it's weird, though, because for me, it wasn't until about two and a half days after I'd gotten back to America. Oh. <laughs> I went to Chipotle, and I ate Chipotle, and I was like, Ugh, I'm dying. <laughs> a little too heavy. I guess. Okay, let me send you let me send you a little invite here. Um my chat wanted me to ask you how to pronounce <coughs> one of the Horus <coughs> monsters. Are oh, you talking about Kebasenuf? Ah fuck that checks out. <laughs> <laughs> no, um Yeah, I guess that is how you'd pronounce it. Yeah. We, we okay. were talking about it. We were like, all right, how's Doug gonna try this one? You. And you were just like the protector of horus you can only use this yeah. guy's effect once per turn <laughs> yeah i uh they they actually hate it when i do that and i try it usually i just uh i like work into the script 30 seconds like, on the prediction oh chat. i don't know like how to pronounce this so i'm gonna try my best but um they yeah they really don't like when i don't at least attempt it i remember with the um the gizmac video a, a year or so ago um I like didn't the first the first draft I submitted I didn't say like any of the um, names and they were like hey you you have to say like these at least once <laughs> like you gotta get through Gizmak Orochi <sighs> yeah like the Orochi Serpentrion yeah that one's fine Sky Slasher yeah no there's some like I can't even remember which Gizmaks are complicated but Gizmak Naganaki yeah that one probably I'll, I'm looking them up all right Gizmak. here's here's what we're gonna Gizmak Inaba Taniguku, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Ara Arakami Yata. Yata! I know Yata. Yata Garasu. Uh, Makami. Oh, I, I didn't want to say. <laughs> my Kami. You didn't want to say. Oh, my God. Kaku. Arakami. Yeah, that's. Nine you know Okami? Eight. It's like the video game. Uka. <laughs> like, they all seem easy. Like, words seem easy to pronounce once you learn how to pronounce them. Like, that's, you know, like, looking at these now. Once I'm you've like, read oh, the yeah, words, that's... it's like, oh, yeah, right, for sure. <laughs> that's, I mean, who doesn't know Gizmek Okami? I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, How are you feeling okay, about uh, your deck? <laughs> I'm feeling, you know, I, I'm feeling. Am I going to be surprised by your deck? Am I going to be uh, shocked I, by your strategy? Yeah, yeah. No, I think you're going to be real shocked. Oh, holy shit. I'm real shocked. I want to die roll for once. Yeah, <laughs> that's actually not fair. Wait a second. <laughs> yeah, whatever name I pronounce in the official reveal video is how it's pronounced. <laughs> this is how it goes. not a bad hand. Okay. Wow. See, I was trying to tell my chat that your deck is not bad. Oh, People sorry. My deck is good. What do you mean? What do you? What do you? What do you mean your deck? Hmm? What are you talking? Your deck is good. How could you possibly know that? Just whatever cards you have <laughs> are fine. Like, oh, just whatever <laughs> cards. Well, here's a really good card that I think you might not be familiar with. I'm gonna summon. Cockatorium, Doug. Welcome uh, to the Cockatorium. I'm actually no, really. What is this? I've never <laughs> seen this card in my life. You've never seen Cockatorium. This card is in your hand or graveyard. That's really fucked okay. up of you. You've never seen Cockatorium. Is this in a pack? It's it's somewhere. And you know what else is that? It can banish Zodiac Whiptail to become a zoo. Come again? Yeah, well, you're going to be coming again when you see what I'm up to. We're going to go Chalk and I. <laughs> uh, we're going to go... Which, which cards of this set are legal? Is Dryden legal in this We're going to go Tiger Mortar. Uh... Uh, we're going to go, we're going to go Borbo. Is this a uh, what the scallop moment, right? <laughs> and, uh, you know, Doug, I think we're going to, we're going to maybe end a little bit. What's the point of giving them material if you're not even doing anything with the material? That's true. That's true. And we're going to make, we're going to make a little bit of a Zodiac Dryden tier. 
Okay, okay, dude. Oh, but I that's not all, Doug. Is. If you thought Zoo was I mean, all I was playing, all. you'd be sorely mistaken because it's time for me to drive you to insanity with my Metal Foes Goal Driver. <laughs> and we'll scale Volflame. And Doug, I'm going to be completely honest with you here. Wait. I'm going to be completely real with you here. I think that we need to slow this game down just a little bit. So we're going to do that by summoning the Amorphage Sloth. <laughs> Are these even in the same pack? The Metal <laughs> No, it's Metal like Metal Zoo no, Zodiac... is the same pack. Oh my god, they just... Bowboom better not be in there. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Pop this back. Okay. okay. All right. I don't know okay. what we're setting. I, I wasn't really prepared for this step. I guess All I know is that fine. I don't want to hear any complaints about Doug's decks if you're opening Dryden Amorphage Sloth. But oh, I'm not. I'm we'll not only that. opening that shit. I'm, I'm setting some cards. Hey, right, go ahead. <laughs> yep. Well. Um, let's, let's unexpected die. <clears throat> Boy, that's unexpected. Let's... Special Tune Warrior. There's just the no played card. There's the just most no way. played card in Master Saga. <laughs> uh, okay, and then I think we can go reveal Ashuna. Sure. <clears throat> I'm interested to see where you're going with this. Mm-hmm. Oh. Sonor, Sonor. <laughs> All right, is did you ban? Oh yeah, sorry. It would have been I would have been wide awake with the uh, sloth on the board, a card that's named after falling asleep. What you said? Uh, did you did you ban um the link one? Yeah, yeah. There's no monk. There's no monk. I probably have to stop you here, right? Because I know you have Changying. It's super annoying. I can't believe this. This is the most value a fucking Toon Warrior has ever gotten in the history of time. You're popping the Toon Warrior? Yes, it's a tuner! <laughs> Don't have Sasahara, just one time. Oh, jeez. Okay, oh, special okay. Ecclesia. <laughs> Thank right. God over specially in Ecclesia. What the fuck do you have? I well. Are we gonna see? Are we gonna see him? I can't believe we were in Cancun and never did a Moye skit. I I, I was planning it. one. Uh, Chat. I brought this up five times. I, I you know oh, sitting on the God, beach there too. sipping a margarita. Oh my God! So many you have times. A, you have Why a don't we throw a Moye in the water? Have you normal yet? Uh, yeah. <coughs> um, no. Uh oh, that's not good. Uh, yeah, but maybe it's not too bad. Um, do you? Have... Yeah, I guess you do have that. What am I playing around here? I kind of just want to go like this. Okay. And then. Oh wait, there's just not a. Oh, that doesn't even work. This is... Okay, I see. I'm dumb. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. There's no worm in the grave. There's no worm in the grave. Can't do I that mean, again. yet. Yet, but yeah. Okay. <clears throat> summon Shishao. Summon Shishao. Yeah. Activate yeah. Shishao. Activate. You know. You know. Back in my day, your <laughs> deck was the menace. You know, I I played at the 2017. Oh yeah, Apple Doug. Games. Oh yeah. You know, back I, uh... in back in my day, I was losing, and that makes this okay. <sighs> um, I saw. I thought the sloth was a good attempt, but I don't think I'm going to be beating this. 
I mean, I think the Sloth Dryden opening was pretty crazy. To uh, the Kaiju um, Ecclesia opening was not bad either. I'm going to be honest the, with you. It's just that, like, no, it is just, it is exactly just that these cards are very, very oh, overpowered. Geez. I was just telling chat earlier, I haven't told you yet. I think I have found a way uh, in a future alternate timeline where there's a future season. Um, I think that we can ban 10 packs and get rid of the legacy ban list. It's that easy. So I think there's 10 packs that are bannable. Uh, <laughs> and this is on the list. Yeah, I should hope so. Yeah. Uh, um, anyway, I could tie. Okay, uh, we're going to go successor soul here. The what now? Uh, one effect monster, uh, then target one effect monster, send to the grave and special the one. Guess okay, this one. what are you... Oh my god, you can summon Volflame with this! Yeah. <laughs> it's cool. Okay, you're the first person to ever summon Volflame with Successor Soul. That's actually pretty It's cool. just, um... Yeah. Doesn't compete with Long One. <clears throat> hmm. What am I... Oh. I don't know. Like this. That's disastrous. Um. Yeah. 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 No, this oh is, wow. This is. I mean, not that it was fair when you had these cards, but I think I have the better half. Of do you, Doug? Half. Do you do you think you might have a little bit? I I I don't recall having Chishao or Moye. Oh man. Yeah, but think about all those. Um. I don't even know if you summoned the sinister uh, long one. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Chishing. Long one, or I think uh, I don't think he ever came out. Sixteen. Oh, he's still, <clears throat> he should. Um, okay, we got that. Yeah, I guess there's no more damage. Okay. okay. Um, attack. Yeah. Attack. I'm trying to think what gets me out of this. I think I do have. Ah, man, I don't. I have no idea. Set. Doug, is that blackout? Um, no. <laughs> Just for scaring you. Yeah, there and, he is. Uh... Oh, wait. That's not even just for here? scaring you. Oh, no. I can fucking... Can oh, I can't. No, because I'll be worm locked. Oh, yeah. Huh. I forgot you have I mean, Baron guess... 2 in this deck. No. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, and then... Oh, God. This is just... <laughs> yeah, keep talking. I'm not playing this shit next episode. Oh. This is only the second episode. I, I like. I'm not like. It's not like I've played this for seven weeks. This is the. This is the fourth consecutive episode you've played this on. <laughs> not true. I'm just lying. I'm just lying. <laughs> just actually. All right, what lying. could get me out of this? Nope, that's. Not I don't it. know, man. I'm sure you got it though. Uh, that was a close one. That was. I don't know, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I can't help but think if you didn't have the fucking kaiju, we might have been in that. Uh, I think so too. Um, yeah. Like I definitely could have summoned like guys, <laughs> but not like extra deck guys. Uh, would you like to go first or? Ah, oh, I'm going first. Okay. Yeah, I will. Um, yeah, if I if if I win this episode, I'm absolutely not playing this deck next. Episode. <laughs> like I tried so hard already not to play it this episode, and my decks were just. No, so you got it. You got to do but what you got to do, buddy. You gotta win. You gotta try. Okay, Let's see what we're doing here. All right, let's see if we can pull like a different opener, like a, a better I opener. I mean, I think your opener was insane. I, I, uh, mm. this one ain't bad. Uh, this one is not bad. Okay, let me think for a little bit what I want to do with this. Yeah. <clears throat> I can't even tell like what your avatar is. By the way, it looks like an AI image of just like shapes. It's Agarine. <clears throat> what is that? <laughs> Agarine. Is it an ice jade? Okay, yeah. ice jade. Someone chat ice jade. Okay. I don't think there's a way to do exactly what I want. 
Yeah, because oh. I don't have enough here. So we go... This hand is real tricky, yeah. Hmm. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Let's not get auto lost here. Go one, two. PS one, two. One. It doesn't do anything. Two. We can go. Mm. I mean, it's not. It's not terrible. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I'm going to scale Bismagir okay. Melcaster. Yep. PS2. By all means. Oh my god. Thoroughblade. Oh, hold up. There might actually be a way to do what I want. There is! There is! It's just a question of if I think I will die. <clears throat> wow, yeah, that does do it. Because I haven't normaled yet, chat. Okay, so we go, we always do this. Is there a reason to get <coughs> Para here? I don't think so. Pop this. Go grab, what, counter? Pop that. So we only get, we only get one search here. If we get Para, oh God, I actually have to look up the text on Parametaphose Fusion. How do you get the sloth? By the way, <laughs> uh, he's, he was just in a pack. Tribute summon sloth. Yeah, man, that's probably the last card in his hand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm really, I'm really thinking about tribute summon sloth. Yeah, I think I actually do have a really funny line here. So we go, Melcaster, Pop, Bismagear. Yeah. Make sure I know the text on this card. Cards. Yeah, I mean. Uh, set para. Then we go pop, normal, two. Yeah. Fusion <coughs> summon one. Go Dryden't. Pop Melcaster. Oh, pop the Melcaster. Okay. Melcaster. Sure. Add back Bisma gear. I mean, it's certainly you got a nice resource loop set up. Yeah, you know what else I got? You know what else I got, asshole? I got the one. I got the only. I got Electromite. Is that in that pack? It is. What the fuck? That pack's. I, yeah, I guess that's just that really. This there's a lot of archetypes in and it. And now we could get sloth! Really powerful <laughs> cards. Oh my god. I don't think this really does. And now that. you can get to sloth. Okay, that's. I mean, we can't because we already pendulum summoned, but. <coughs> oh, why do we get para here? Oh, because. Oh, right. I, I'm actually a genius. I'm actually a genius. Holy shit. Okay. I mean. Uh, we're going to set. Good. I don't know, just some guy, right? We don't really care who. And now watch this. Wait, okay. Do I have one other face-up card you control? Destroy it? Okay, well, that would be Dryden. I don't want to do this. Watch this. Yeah. Parametaphose Fusion. I'll fuse into Alkahest using Gold Driver and Electromite, which is a metal foe. <laughs> metal foe. I, this is okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so oh, I guess you just didn't have another. If you had a face-up card to pop, though, like you didn't normal summon, so you could have got the. No, I did right? normal summon. I normaled the Bismagear. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Okay. 
I was like, the Thurl Blade was Pendulum Summoned. Uh, okay. Let's think about this. I got to read this card for. Okay, so like it equips something once per turn yeah, during so your it's, opponent's turn, quick effect, you can target one effect monster. But, it's relinquished. It's quick effect relinquished. Quick effect relinquished. Got it. <clears throat> um. Okay, I just got to decide between these two powerful monsters. Oh, God right. damn it, dude. Can you stop opening kaijus, please? Oh, those? Oh, no. <laughs> that's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's not what I'm talking about, but yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Um, it's just like kind of fucked up when you think about it. <coughs> oh, I see now. Okay, so sorry, so sorry. Um, I will yeah, kaiju. That's that's fine. Yeah. I will summon my MVP. I guess. Yeah, yeah. He's been putting in a lot of work. Maybe I should have just taken him. Been like, yeah, all right. I guess so. Elka has can only equip effect monster. That is correct. Oh, oh. But he's living. Eh, that's fine. That's yeah, okay. it's not a big it's, deal. It, it, <laughs> honestly, honestly, this Toon Warrior has done so much Gotten in the a lot of it value. Made it a Dryant in the last game. It forced the <laughs> Alchemist. Um. Okay, I just got to think about what we're doing from here. I use the other Kaiju. I would say probably right. The other. <clears throat> I don't. I didn't open. <laughs> Um, no, I mean, it's this. Guy. Oh, man, that is a hard choice. Yeah. <coughs> it's dead here, I think. And then. No, I mean, it's. We're just walling up, I think. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, set. Yep. Go ahead. Oh. All right, we're chilling. Didn't think we'd get that far. Um. <clears throat> it's not. All right, we will not permit you to uh, fire off that blackout. <coughs> I thought kaiju's were against the rule. No, you well, didn't. Yeah, that's <laughs> you clearly didn't. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no. What the I fuck? Okay. How do I? Okay, now what do I do? God damn it! A kaiju for you, <laughs> a kaiju for me. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Let I didn't know fight. he could do that. How interesting! Uh, wait a minute. We're oh god, you're game. learning things. <laughs> okay, hold up, hold up. Okay, uh, man, I just kind of want to sit on Alkahest. He's very cute. Um. Hmm. <clears throat> what are you? What can you face? Is it one card in your so hand? Annoying. Just a metal foes monster? How wild can this get? <coughs> I wish this was better, but this is the play for sure. It's Metalcaster. Yep. Okay. I activate the effect of the Vanquisher. Vanish, my monster. Metal Foes Vanisher. Oh, oh you can pop the fucking... Um, okay, let me read this card. While this card is being charged, you destroy them. Yeah, if you have removal, this is disastrous. Well, it doesn't say those targets, but it says and if you do. It says and do, if you do, yeah. Uh, yeah, cause it, or it's not a different, it's a different situation. Okay, so, um, yeah, this is going to be pretty good, I think. Let's uh, oh. activate yeah, That's the only this. other thing it could be. <clears throat> um, Disastrous. Let's, you know, summon the gold driver. Let's banish, banish. And there goes my uh, vanisher. Oh! No, I, I'm right. Yeah, 
yeah, coder DZ. No, if it doesn't say those targets, like it still resolves. Oh, I just baited myself. I let you trick <laughs> me right there. Wait, literally, and it's if fine, you do. No, it's it doesn't say if it says them, it doesn't have to what's happening to this guy? Oh my finished. god, I should have I should have listened to myself. Um talking about monster report. Banish it. Um uh yeah. What the fuck are you thinking about? I don't know. Alright, what are we getting back? I guess Volflame. We can't whatever we do, Fuck. we can't scale it. We could normal the Bisma gear, but we don't have a second Electromite, so who cares? Um normal the Bisma gear. I mean, really nothing. like the end result isn't too different. Well, I guess it's just Bisma gear is a good eh, card it's anyway. Because I would have had to banish the Elkahest with the <laughs> RDP anyway. So yeah. yeah, this is like the same end result, I think. It's yeah. fine. I'm sorry, what did you just add back? Uh, the the Bismagir. Uh, Bismagir. All you need to do here is normal summon Moya. It's all right. That's an unfortunate top deck because now I have to actually play the game. Um, but this would have been so much funnier. Maybe I can still do this play. Let me think. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, chat's all mad. I drew a good card too. I know I want to do this play. Hold on. Maybe we can still do it. Maybe we can still do it. Uh, we got the. I don't think so. I could do. Uh, it just doesn't. No, I, I can't. Uh, let me, if I can, look, if I go, if I. If I this. <laughs> I, I'm trying. What does this guy do? Anything else? Uh, no. on card. He's, he does not do a goddamn thing. Okay, okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, this is not a. There's no argument for that. <laughs> oh, man. Hard, that's a hard one, buddy. This was the Dude, my hand was trash. This was a top. Oh, <laughs> oh, Jesus! We are so fucked. We are. Oh man! Around. Oh, my hand was so much. Oh, fun. oh, the hand was so bad. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> um, I, what am I even doing here? What are know. you doing? I'm trying to like actually win. Let's go, Ashina. Yep. Uh, you know, let's, uh, let's, uh, maybe I can kill you if I do this. Yeah, I think you probably can. <laughs> I don't think I can. Um, <coughs> not that effect. This is, like, so bad and so funny. Um, do that. Okay, well, I can't. Uh, I really want to use, ah, whoa, uh, I hate that I drew the tie. <laughs> <laughs> Oh Ugh. man! <laughs> I I I'm not playing this deck next week. I promise. I promise. No, I no, no! You do what you have to do, Some buddy. Uh, like, honestly, I think I want to <clears throat> put. Does MBT have token collector? Don't, I'm thinking about it, chat. <laughs> <laughs> I pulled that the last episode that you played Sword Soul. Oh, that's funny. Um, just out of the master pack. Oh, we're dead then, huh? So. It is out there. It does exist. <laughs> Why did I summon this guy? Chun Chun. <laughs> big, um, big yeah. chungus. No, that, see, that's I was. I could have Chun Chun tribute the Vashuda and then like Vashuda bounce that guy. Oh. Yeah. What's up? Yeah, I'm a little confused what's going on here because you've already been through your 10. You didn't make Baxia to go get Moye. So I, I, I'm actually a little... Con what's the plan here, buddy? Here is where I was making the... The Baron. Sinister Long One. Oh, oh, oh the Chish yeah, the evil Long One. Is he... Let's see him. Um... Let me. Oh, let me. Uh, 
He has Tenyi Link. Well, if you can figure out a way to get the token off the field, chat, then we can make the Tenyi Link. I, mean, I can get the token off the board. It's going to be painful. <laughs> well, I can't leave. Uh... So this is a vanilla on the board. While in the hand of this card, special. Okay, so it is just a vanilla. Okay, okay. I could. I see. We're going for the old Sathana special. <laughs> the strongest <laughs> no that doesn't trigger that's the problem oh i see i see yeah that's what i was reading the, the <laughs> so the play would actually be oh, god that's really bad but i don't want to just leave this up here so i could crash and then make shaman to yeah that's honestly not that bad who the fuck is he crashing with am i missing something <laughs> <laughs> Uh huh. To get it off the board. Ah, I see. Okay. All right, we're just doing yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Man, you know what, chat? In hindsight, okay, you'll now see all the cards. You'll see what I. I think this other oh! card was that card was. But... <laughs> so the other play I could have done was normal Clayman. Ashina effect in grave tribute the clayman for a big chungus that and then something funny. I don't I don't no that play was better because the Ashina I no I just figured it out you I should have you should have believed in clayman dog <laughs> yeah because like the Ashina could have summoned Adhara and then I could have gone chungus Adhara into Yazi oh my god I should I could have actually the clayman play well I knew it was better I knew it was better <laughs> okay anyway um yeah this one is most tech points <laughs> getting so, back Chun Jun let's go <laughs> All right, I got. Let me actually read this card. Uh, okay, so I can't actually do that one. So, wow, yeah, this was. Uh, this real is we 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 beefed this as much pressy. as possible. This was um. N no, I think I should. We can vished here. Is it? No, I, it's definitely better just to <laughs> to chill. I mean, now the Bismagear card is. <coughs> it's like the Bismagear is something to yeah. target now, but I think the the Vanisher effect is a lot scarier. So uh, go ahead. All right, got a lot of draws to do this for some reason. That is not. Yeah, that one was. Of them. Um, oh, that's bleak. That's real. I, bleak. I picked picked up the game and I threw it right in the trash. So by all means, kick my ass right here. Because yeah, we lost Para here. That's unfortunate. Oh my god. That Clayman play, that timeline where I did that would have been insane. Definitely doing um, this. Um ooh. Let's see what I got in grave. Nothing. Yep. I don't know how the fuck I'm beating the berserker. Um <laughs> the vanilla is too popular. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know though. Maybe I do just bounce it because you can always just do that. But then I can kill it here, and then maybe you're like bricked on what you got. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. A Vashuda now is worth two later or something. That's what they said. You always find the most creative ways to throw. Thank you. I really value that out of myself. Can't we just bounce with Mithrilium somehow? I mean, Chad, I'd I'd love to. If you if you have an idea. <sighs> yeah, we only play one of this chat. Um I can't believe I can't believe I almost saw that play. I don't want to just pass again. I know that's like wrong. <clears throat> Vish have to be face up. It doesn't. No. See, the reason I don't want to go like Bismagear pop is because if we commit to something like a counter and then he just bounces it with Vish, we're behind like two turns, right? Hmm. 
All right, we're just going to do this. Um, we're going to go with tail. Oh! Gonna, did not pull to uh, to Dryden. <clears throat> Pop the whip tail here. Go grab a counter. Back to you. <coughs> Are there just no other Zodiac Exceeds monsters? No, there's uh, there's no reason to play any more of them. I guess maybe I could have like not gone through Chalkanine the one time, and like set up a scenario where. I mean, maybe I didn't I can... see any reason to put material on him at all because right there you couldn't you have just. Oh, after damage go. Okay. Yeah. yeah okay. I see. I see. Um, okay, so let me just read counter again. It's like when a monster or when a card's destroyed. When a card I by control is card destroyed, yeah. A metal flu. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, we are just going to do exactly what you had kind of guessed, I think. Alluded to. Yeah. yeah. We'll do this. Hit that. Ow. Please, no destruction effect. Okay. <laughs> uh, set one. Go ahead. Okay. Got a berserker in a dream. I, I really, it's so funny to me that in hindsight, you know, looking between Clayman and Sword Soul of Taya, that Clayman was the summon. Okay, two oh, back row. Rough. Yeah. rough, rough, rough. Um, uh, eh, that doesn't. Uh, no, okay. Battle. Okay. <clears throat> Deck, I just need any card. Any face-up card at this point. Any card Go I can ahead. play face-up. Literally any card. Any poppable card. Perfect! That's exactly what I needed! A set card! Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> this is rough. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, that's not what I want. Um, let's go battle. Mm -hmm. Attack for 3k. Mm. Jelly cannon? <sighs> yeah, we'll do this. When did... Oh, I guess you do have one of these. We... I, I think we have to do it, chat. As much as I, as much as I want to not do it. Big Jungus? Which one did he target? Sathana. Uh, oh, Sathana. Okay. Um... Let's at least chain circle. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Just don't accidentally click special. Um, this is... Just, I don't even know, man. You should special it. You should special the monster. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would definitely be a good idea. That that that's the call right there. Uh, no, I mean it's it's probably just. Oh, like, look at all those back row cards. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, that could be anything. No, it's it's probably. Oh my no no. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I did knee jerk reaction click yes on special, but I didn't unclick. Uh, so we're good. Okay, uh, all right. Special summon. No. <laughs> if my girl. I, I think they'll be able to see that on. Like, I, I did full. <laughs> I will take okay. this. Oh, you can have this thought still. Yeah, um, awesome. Nope, that's funny, but. Uh... Oh, a face up card. Master has given me a face up card. <laughs> Oh, and we've opened another card that wouldn't have done it. Oh, fuck! Yeah, get that oh. fucking card out of there. Yeah, Floodgate Trap my ass, you dumb bitch. <laughs> All right, let's make this happen. Um, rare Metaphose Bismagir. Uh, show me this guy's balls. Uh, we're going to set... Set Fusion, right? <coughs> hmm. There's no real good way to do this, I don't think, actually. Am I not just... <laughs> no, because I can't get to another... 
Oh, thank God. Okay. Oh, you're at 21. <laughs> right. Yeah. All right. Let's just counter for Volflame, I guess. <laughs> oh. Well, oh Doug, God, I, I appreciate this game that you gifted to me on a silver platter. I should have floodgated the Shithana. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it would have been crazy. It would have prevented all that. All right, what do you do for game three? You go first. If you win this, it's another episode of Sword Soul. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll be going first. It should be another episode of Sword Soul regardless. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll go first. <laughs> Drawing for content? Yeah, Not yeah, yeah. really. Um, you saw me there sitting, trying to figure out the Clayman play for like You said you're going minutes. second, like, right? You want to go second? First. I'm going right. to go first, I think. All right, cool. I'll go first. Uh, well, we need the extra cards so we can ensure that we make Electromide turn one, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really tried to figure out that plate. Oh my god. Ah! I really tried to <laughs> Not good. I activate. This guy has gotten so much fucking value. I Oh not that guy. This guy! Oh, come on. No, not like this. Um boy. And what? Uh, yeah, I'm I'm waiting. <laughs> Chat says we cannot this win from this good. position. <laughs> Man. Yeah, look at a handful of kaijus thinking why'd I go first, huh? That's not what I'm thinking. I'm thinking about if I played Link Spider. <laughs> uh, I mean, oh, I should have maybe like thought about this because this doesn't actually. Is this actually not get anywhere? Wait, how? Do, I thought this would. Sorry, I'm. <laughs> yeah, take your time. Monster. <coughs> this doesn't get anywhere, chat. Summon this guy. Um, I think it will die to one card. All right. No, I actually know. <sighs> I'm just thinking because you have the fucking like whip tail. I guess. I don't think. Oh Jesus! <sighs> Could I have? Man, <laughs> I really wanted to just clean the pets <coughs> so bad. Yazi. <laughs> but that's what we got. That's the play. Go ahead. How interesting, yeah. Doug. Uh, yep. That's not exactly, not quite my tempo. <laughs> uh, oh boy. Well, what do we want to do here? We're always dying. Yeah. Don't you ash blossom this. Say, <laughs> you are not ash blossoming I was going to say, you're still playing the plants, but then I realized that. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. See, that's why it's a little fucked up. Sorry, Doug. Whoa! That changes some stuff, actually. That's... Mm, does it? Actually, does it? We're always doing this. Sure.
There she is. <coughs> Certainly an option. <sighs> what am I scared of here? Your guy can't be targeted. That's a disastrous. Is it? Yeah. It's not bad. Uh, we can go one, two. Is that worth it? Buckle my shoe. Yeah, for sure. That's definitely worth it. Does, does it do what I want? One set, fire. This guy doesn't do anything, though. The problem is that this card can't get out. We don't have, like, a good way to get this guy out. Always do this. Yeah. yeah. If it was any other guy, Chad, any other guy. <clears throat> yeah. Set Para here. Para. <sighs> yeah, like this. Yep. Myth. <sighs> now I just have to decide how I want to do this. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Bounce the Melcaster. <clears throat> Scale Vanisher. There. Gale Melcaster. Less soft ones per turn. <laughs> That's insane. How does... I guess they're just like, yeah, it's just the the Metal Foes way. Yeah, that's their line. Oh, God, I wish I wish there wasn't a hard once on Parametal Foes Fusion. That would be really tight here. All right. <clears throat> Let's try it out. Um... Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just so fucking... Yeah, okay. Yep. Right. Sean John! Sean John. No shot. There he is. That's disastrous. Wow, that's really bad. <laughs> I think I can kill you here. <gasps> Fuck you, no way. 78? How can you... <sighs> that's damn close. How can you now? <clears throat> uh... Is there a way I can do it? I don't think so. Mm, because there's not a way I can do it, I feel as if it's probably not worth to try. Chad, I can't. I can't let this get banished by the whip tail. So. Oh, thank okay. God I read the card. Reading the card explains the card. Reading the card <coughs> explains the card. Um, sure. I'll just get the guy. That's fine. You're allowed to have that. Am I allowed to read Shunjun? I can't remember. Are you allowed to read it? Yeah. Is, oh. it, like, <laughs> is it illegal? Yeah, it is. Yeah, you can't click on it. All right. Uh... That'll phase it up. I don't think we're out of this yet, chat. Um, necessarily. 
Why not tribute in battle phase? Because that's not what the card lets that's me do. That's literally not legal. That's Why indeed? Okay, well, I guess if there was going to be a draw... <laughs> God, come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, buddy. Okay, prosperity. Okay, prosperity. Uh, that's a ooh, kaiju for sure. Um, uh, oh, this one actually seems kind of... <laughs> I don't even know. This, 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 and really this. All right. Yeah. What if I, yeah, that's good. That, oh, a kaiju. Blackout's good too. Oh, change of heart. Change of heart though looks kind of good. I don't know. That's kind of um, hard to call. Add any card from your deck to your hand. Yeah, well. <laughs> I mean, I think it actually is this one because otherwise I have to deal with the kaiju too. This way. Yeah, I'm going to change your heart. Snore. Yep. Let's go activate change your heart. Targeting. The. Although the targeting looks kind of weird, I'm going to target the Dryden. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, because I just figured, like, yeah, if I grab the kaiju and do this, I just, like, you still got the kaiju. <laughs> it's true. That is correct. So this way, at least you <clears throat> have to out it yourself. It's just a uh, smashing gun. Uh, I guess we might as well counter here. Oh, you got one unknown trap card. It's kind of fucked up because your deck's really powerful. If you have it, and by it I mean <laughs> something, you have it. I have it. Fuck. <laughs> I think your deck is very good. Okay, no Ecclesia. Oh, Ecclesia doesn't even... Oh, it still gets Taya. No, my opening was double unexpected die Toon Warrior. <laughs> oh. So the last oh. card hand is double unexpected die. I, that was a good game. Chat, I don't think the... Oh. The <sighs> oh, I'm shitting and farting. Oh my god! But how's the game going? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Slow yeah. Up. <coughs> All right, I gotta bring her out. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. One last time for one last one run. <laughs> All right, man. Next week, I'm coming back with fucking... If I unlock the Sword Soul Pack a second time... <laughs> oh, God. I mean, you. how much better could the deck conceivably get? It could just get to a point where I wouldn't have to play the fucking vanilla monsters. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's probably pretty important. Like... Yeah, I don't know. I kept going back and forth because on one line, on one hand, the uh, vanilla monsters are actually like one of the only ways to like get the tiny monsters online now, which is kind of funny. So I kind of had some builds that had more than like a couple vanilla monsters, and I, I think that that might have been I might have been on something. This shit was over the second that you thought that Clayman would betray me. <laughs> All right, get this fucking guy back. I'm not walking into drowning or yeah, some yeah. kind of stupid shit. All right. After all, I told you it was unexpected. I would oh, never man! I can't believe that. <laughs> Good games. Good Thank games. you for gifting like, me actually, those ones. I really did not think we were going to What are you... You can't just say that. Name one time I gave you that. The second game. game. The second game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But all right, let's check the deck. <sighs> there's more than one game in a match. There's more that's than one true, game. That's true. That's true. You're right. The, some of the clay um, man was pretty helpful. Yeah, I mean, it would have been helpful in the other game. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, it's just uh, Sword Soul. Like, I got, I had Fragrance Storm in new? there, which oh, clearly Fragrance Storm wasn't is good neat. with your deck choice. Oh, why don't you suck my dick, asshole? <laughs> oh, man. did you, I wish you had bricked on it. Uh, it was never happened. Yeah, I, mean, I can't believe you just, have two IDP. Sword Soul. Whoa, 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 whoa. But it's like Stellar Wind Wolf Riot. That's new. I don't 
think it's good though. Like I could have done right. that that last game. That's what people were kind of telling me to do. I could have uh, Toon Warrior Chungus into that. It's, but like, it's that all right. Be, you summon <laughs> Zodiac Monster. Okay. <laughs> Okay, let me take a look at what the fuck you got. Oh, okay, my deck. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of the techniques are kind of weird without. If you don't draw the sword soul cards, like I know that like we've been <laughs> laughing about my deck being like constructed, but like really, if you don't see the sword soul cards, my deck's like a pile of garbage. So it's yeah, for tough. sure. Um, you're just playing one of that bird guy. You just yeah, have just that's one not in anything. Yeah. So and metal foes line up. The, yeah, because aren't some of the metal foes in legacy packs? Yeah, the rough part about this one is we found out halfway through that silvered and steelen are in legacy so yeah we had to use the max out <laughs> lifeline to get like a play set of the of like gold driver like, and we're playing like yeah like valence <laughs> like a bunch of like weird fucking guys but it's uh, all right ex is that a little <laughs> do i see a little rank four in there is that a little exiton knight uh yeah i spy we, with my little eye exiton oh knight? yeah i mean for sure i mean i would love to make him <laughs> it'd be very funny <laughs> i don't know i think this is deck it? is is quite strong we theoretically also can pend out the radian to protect against kaiju but um <laughs> i think the deck's strong it also is playing some funny stuff successor soul piercing the darkness very fun uh successor it's like soul so you just have two of those yeah um, it's a rare that's fucked up this so this deck is like i think 75 percent of the way there like obviously the the other metal foes would be crazy but like yeah the extra is perfect the main is close what is that is that a dark magician spell card? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That? So here's what this one does. If you normal a normal, you draw a card. And if you're level five or higher, normal attacks an extra deck monster. Uh, it gets the attack of the other it's monster. Honest. So yeah, oh it makes your God. it makes your Volflame <laughs> trade over everything. It's like at at How worst, it's an upstart. <laughs> Episode seventeen, we're just throwing <laughs> vanilla support at each. Other. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> crazy, right? <laughs> the three unexpected die. Okay, I uh, I got. I'm sorry to anyone in the comment section. I gotta kick his ass. I'm sorry. I gotta try. I it, this has proven it is try harding. I'm so sorry. <coughs> GGS. GGS. See you guys next week. Peace. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. See you Tuesday. Um, yeah. See you next Tuesday. Wait. So is next one, one the last one yeah. for this five, or is it one more? No, no, no. We're, this is episode three. Help. I think it's se we 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 just filmed seventeen, right? So fifteen. Is, we just fifteen. I won. 17. Sixteen. You won. Seventeen. I won. Yeah. So we have this one and then two more. <coughs> yeah. Is yeah. twenty the 18, finale 19, 20. or is there like a yeah twenty is the finale? Okay. Yeah. So three more. Three more. All right. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Oh, which uh, which life fund did you you said you used? Uh, the, the uh... mega common charity one. Got it. Okay. See ya. All right, bye. Uh, okay, so I actually did the profile. We're going to throw on emote only mode. I did the profile um, while the background music was on, so I'm going to do it again for crush cards. Oh my god, Doug, thank you for the 10 gifties! And thank you for gifting me those games. Everyone type dodged in chat if you didn't get one. <clears throat> All right. Okay, let me, let me, we're going to lie a little bit. We're going to, we're going to just lie. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yet. Uh, so <coughs> sorry. Uh, so this is close. So as you can probably see, we unfortunately came to a very sad realization halfway through polls that some of the Metal Foes are not in the pack. They are in Legacy only. That's Silvered and Steelen, which means we needed to use the Lifeline, greatest common charity of all time, in order to get the remaining pieces of the Metal Foes lineup that we were missing. As of now, we have 13 Metal Foes names, 12 of which actually do something, and one of which is Vanisher. Uh, but that's still okay. <clears throat> You can see the rest of the deck is pretty much chock full of staples. We've got Unexpected Die, so we can use our normal to make Heavy Metal Foes Electromite. Really happy we picked this up. We've, of course, got the Zoos, an honorary zoo, Cockatorium, the Heavy Metal Avian, uh, in order to go into the big line that makes Dryden't. Uh, we've got some Kaijus, we've got Alpha, and then we've got some staples like Torrential and Galaxy Cyclone and Book of Moon and stuff like that. 
I, I would say we're most of the way there. Ideally, we'll get to a position where we can perform a pendulum summon after summoning Heavy Metal Foes Electromite, so we can use Electromite in order to set Sloth to our EMZ. We can potentially lock Doug out of the extra deck, uh, or we can just put up a number of interrupts that his board can't interact with. But at the end of the day, I by no means think that this is going to be able to take down Sword Soul. Uh, we actually brewed up a second version of this list that's playing the plant stuff as well. I don't want to play it this week because I think it's a little too telegraphed, but if we lose, we'll come back and reassess and maybe link some in some plant stuff while playing the Metal Foes as well. Uh, regardless, happy to be representing this deck. Mithrilium for the win. Here we go. There you go. And now we are done lying. <coughs> oh, hi, Farfa. <coughs> Morning. Good morning, Rebecca. You just missed us winning! I don't know how it happened. All right, let's, um... Was the thumbnail okay? Oh, yeah, all the thumbnails have been fine. Uh, I need to pee real quick, and then we're going to do pulls. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> uh, let me get them the big one. Ah, what the fuck? There we go. Yeah! <coughs> YouTube! No, I, how, we, how do we want to do that? HTTP colon slash slash www.youtube.com backslash. Well, I don't... Ah, another week, another episode where Doug gif gifts us a... That, that fucks up the auto balance. Ah, another week, another episode where Doug gifts us a best of three. I'm pretty sure with that one, we have permanently taken the lead in Master Saga, but still a lot can happen in the last couple of episodes. I don't want to just win this series. I want to dominate it. So we're pulling today. As you can see, we have a really powerful pendulum strategy already at our disposal with a really... Oh, fuck. So we're pulling today. As you can see, we already have a really powerful pendulum strategy at our disposal, and we have a really low investment power play in Zodiac Dryant. That means almost any... That means almost any set that we open that includes Pendulum cards is going to be a huge net positive and potentially get that sloth line that would have been difficult for Doug had he not opened a kaiju a little more consistent. <clears throat> now we'll go over to the Master Duel scene. So as always, our polls are going to begin with 12, 10... So as always, our pulls are going to begin with 10 packs of Master. Now, note that I'm using gems that I have farmed on this account, which means that they're going to be bad. The, the game can tell if you're using free gems. Look, see? <coughs> Nothing. Uh, I guess Chimeratech Fortress Dragon is important. Chat asks if there will be more gay sex in the next episode. Stay tuned. Okay, something in here. Uh, another shadow is pretty good, actually. Oh, so you were lying. You were lying. You were queer baiting me. What do we got here? Yajiro Vader. Oh. And Spellbook of Fate. Uh, I do not want to go into that set. <coughs> One other thing that would be interesting to open is between the last couple of episodes and this episode. Oh, it doesn't even open a set. Um, the B troopers have gotten a set. God damn. Come on. <clears throat> so if we can open the B trooper set, I would be really happy. We, we have everything to make that deck work except for the extra deck guys. Nothing. 
It wouldn't be an MBT opening if we weren't halfway through only having revealed one set. Power Sink Stone also does not open one. Incredible. This is really good. Surely the UR will open one. <clears throat> okay, here we go. <laughs> A fucking G Golem card. Oh, thank God. That's that's actually an interesting pack. Okay. Better than no URs? Is it? I feel like it isn't. Okay, we got some in this one for sure. Oh. Hoot Cake and Witchcrafter. Those are two interesting sets. Okay, we just got, I think, one more. Runic does not open a set yet. Mmm. Cool. Well, six. I mean, it's not one. So let's see if we can pick something. All right. Our choices are Secret Fighters, Altered Herald. Oh, the doll pack. Oh, it's got to be the doll pack, right? Oh, holy shit. Oh, it's actually the doll pack. Oh, we're doing this. I'm not even paying attention to the other ones. Hmm. <clears throat> Okay, so this is going to look very stupid, but we're picking Beloved Dolls. And you might be wondering why. It's because of the card currently on screen. Not anymore. Box of Friends. If this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon two normal monsters with zero attack or defense and different names from your deck in defense position, but they can't be used as synchro material. Now, the alternate version of Metal Foe that we had... Now, the alternate version of Metal Foe that we had prepped out for last episode utilized this card to summon Genus Loci from deck, but it can also summon the Doll Monsters, which are not bad. So this would be a really great supplemental archetype to play with Metal Foes if we can find the good pieces of it. It's weird that we're going into the uh, Medulce pack to play zero Medulces. There's our box of friends. Great. And there's Six Samurai United for some reason. <clears throat> Oh, wow, it's the bisexual goatee. Uh, Grandpa Demetto is an interesting card. We might end up playing the, like, Princess Cologne stuff. Oh, it's coming out. We haven't pulled a hollow from the set yet, so I'm hoping we do here. Oh. Or oh, it's lying. It's lying. <clears throat> Oh, come on! I mean, that's funny, but not really what we're looking for. Bear Bear, good. We're looking for the normals as well. At least one a piece of each normal. Or maybe we're just looking for Bapple over and over again. Cross Sheep, very big for Dolce. Or not, Cross Sheep is very big for Metal Foes. Oh? No. <laughs> no. All right, come on. Ah, it's the Dolce. That's fine. Jeez, we are getting killed on these openings. Oh, come on. Okay, please be from the pack. Please be one of the doll cards. It's not from the pack. We're getting every hollow out of pack, though. Whoa! That one might actually come up. A dark monster and a pendulum monster? Can you think of maybe a way we could make that? Oh, thank God. We also wanted a Zombow Wow really badly. Um, Boy Cotton? I'm not going to say it. <clears throat> okay, we got something there at the end. Oh, thank God. And a Miss Machen in here at the end. 
Hey, it's Zombie Stein. What's he doing in here? What? All right. All right, not ideal, but we got five more. Looking for more zomba- Oh! Man, would they really want us to play Madolce? But they're not giving us- They're not giving us Tiramisu. <clears throat> I've never seen this card. Why has he got his ass out? <coughs> Another Zom Bow Wow, please. Nope. That was three. We got... Oh, shit. Her again. Pull Princess Cologne. I'm trying. We do have a UR craft, so we could theoretically pull whatever we need. <clears throat> Two more. Another box of friends. Mess and gelato. Man, they do not want to give me the doll stuff. And last pack. Just hoping for the normals here. There's one. And there's two. Oh, we really clinched it in the close there. Holy guacamole. All right, so we got two Bear Bear, two Madken, and two Demetto, which is probably fine. Uh, we also have three Box of Friends, so uh, we can we can maybe make this work. Uh, of course, we do have our UR Craft because we won. Yeah, really excited. What's our Craft? Probably. Oh, God damn it. Featured cards. How much boy cotton we got? Not a lot. And I think we only have the ones on Bow Wow, which is annoying. <clears throat> is Box of Friends a hard once? Yes. Damn. Otherwise, this would be really funny. We actually already had some of the normals. We pulled like 8 million doll cards. That's funny. I mean, I guess we could craft Tierra Masu and just have her. No, they have to be Dolce's. I think Zombie Stein is a craft. We pulled Zombie Stein. We'll think about it. For now, I'm going to call it. Thank you all for stopping by. Had a great stream today. This was a lot of fun. Thank you, uh, Joshua Schmidt, of course, for the big raid. The big boy with the big raid. Uh, all right. Um, so it looks like... Coder and Gage are both streaming. Is Gage up yet? It's 1.30 p.m. He's got to be up. He's awake. Uh, let's throw it over to Nim Nim. Tell him hi from your boy. Uh, you know what? We raided Nim Nim yesterday. Let's do Coder. <clears throat> All right. See you later. Tomorrow, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Exclamation mark socials. If you like what you see, please follow.